Hi guys, it's Angie. Just wanted to stop in and let you know how everything is going and show you a few things. Um, today is Sunday. Tomorrow is going to be the first day that I drive back down to work since my whole heart issue. And I'm not really looking forward to the drive. But one thing that will make it a little bit nicer is I got a remote start installed on my car yesterday morning and so we've been testing it out to make sure it'll work and it worked all the way from inside church this morning. I went to Joanne's yesterday and it worked from inside there and it's supposed to work from like a, the one I got's not a real expensive one because my husband got one, his mom bought him one for Christmas and they were running a special where you could buy one, you get get one free. And the one you got free was like the basic model. And then all you had to do was just pay for installation. So we paid to get it installed yesterday. Because cold weather or cold air has an effect on blood vessels too, like really cold. So um, it constricts them. And so hopefully, I mean, I'm still going to have to walk from the building to my car. But if I can go ahead and get in a warm car and not have to sit there shivering, you know, even though it's actually been very mild the last several days. But, I mean, I can't show you the remote start, but I can show you the box. Um, box looks like this. And mine is a one-way remote start. And see, it comes with, like, these key fobs. Like, my husband and my mother-in-law, they have um, one where when you push the button to start the car, it comes back and lets you know that the car started. It has, like, a little chiming sound, where mine doesn't. So I just have to make sure that I hold the button down long enough. But this also will open your trunk and locks your doors and all that stuff. So, but yeah, this one's got a thousand foot range, I think. Or not foot, or was it foot? I think feet. But yeah, so anyway, that's pretty cool. At least then when it's cold, I can start my car from my desk and get into a warm car. You just have to remember to turn the the heater on when you get out in the mornings. Next thing I wanted to show you was, remember I showed you the, the, the most recent ring I got out of my prize candle and I said I wanted another one and I was waiting for it to come in the mail. One of the things when you win a ring, when you get the ones out of the candles you can't pick, like when you order the candles you can't pick the size of your ring. But when you win an additional ring with the code that you put in, you do get to pick your size. And so, but you don't get to pick your ring. So I picked a size six and I got the ring and it's like a, like an emerald. Let's see if that'll focus. But it's really pretty. I like it a lot. And it's just like the others where it's not like really thin material. It's nice and thick, but I like the green. And I haven't burned another one yet. I keep looking that way because where I put burned candles is in there. But, uh. I haven't started burning another one yet. And if you don't, one time I dug down to get the candle out and I kind of destroyed the candle and it didn't burn right. The first time I didn't do that and the third time I didn't do that and the candles burned almost completely gone. It was just a little tiny amount of wax at the bottom and they're really nice candles. So that was the ring that I got in the mail. Next thing. Um, I have several projects going on right now. I have this scarf that I'm doing on the loom. I also have a hat on the Addy King size, which I can't show you because my Addy's all the way in the other room. And then I also have my temperature scarf. I'll show you the pro progress on it. And I am, let's see, two, three, three days behind. No, not even three, one, two days behind. So I'm doing better than I thought. And it's kind of funny because I have six, I have six colors in my bag here, but it got so warm the other day for a couple of days in a row, I had to actually go into my stash and get a color I wasn't thinking I was going to even be able to use until spring. So ah, I just, I just hooked it on the other loom. So, but that's how it's, this sucker is going to be long, 
but it's pretty thin so that's good you know but I had to pull out this lavenderish color because it got in the 60s I can't believe it got in the 60s but this sucker is gonna be long cuz take this times 12 <laughs> but like I said that's not gonna bother me because it's gonna be a, a nice squishy thin scarf the kind that you'll like to wrap around several times so I've got my temperature scarf I also have a scarf on the loom on a loom just exactly like this loom but it's a different material at work because sometimes when I'm on meetings I will knit a loom knit and but now what I'm gonna do I was walking 10,000 steps a day which is a roughly four and a half miles that was before I had the heart issue you know and I had to slowly for five days they told me don't just rest you know just relax and so I did that but then on the sixth day I started walking again and it took me a few days but I did finally work back up to my 10,000 steps a day and what the way I track that is I have a if you've heard of a Fitbit well, I have a Fitbit and they come in several styles like this one let's show you if it, it's a clock it's like so I can it's got the time on it and it tells you the time how many steps you've walked how many miles how many calories you've burned um, whether or not you've gone up stairs um, and then also that's what it'll show you on the watch and then you can also sleep in it and it'll tell you it'll like track your sleep and let you know if you were restless in the middle of the night and that kind of thing and I don't really use the sleep part too much you can look at that online it'll automatically sync when you're like next to a computer it comes with um, a dongle which is like a little thing you plug into the USB port on your computer and it'll automatically sync up this you can also uh, Bluetooth connect it to your phone so like if your phone rings it'll do like caller ID but I don't do that I mainly want this just to track my steps I mean that's and it's kinda cool because it'll buzz when you've reached your steps you can also use this as an alarm like to wake you up in the morning it's just like a silent alarm and it vibrates on your wrist um, Fitbit also comes with like um, you can do there's the ones you wear like this which I like there's also ones that are like a little clip which I've had before which I used to attach to my bra but um, those could get kind of uncomfortable and so I really like this one this is called a Fitbit charge but that's how I track my steps they're very very accurate I mean I've sat and counted as I have walked and looked and it, it, it's dead on it does a really good job tracking your steps so so yeah I'm back up to my 10,000 steps Yesterday I didn't hit 10,000. It was Saturday and I was kind of, I was watching videos to learn how to crochet and so I wasn't walking as much, but I, stood, I did still hit 8,000 and something, so I was pretty close. And I got a ways to go today, but it's still pretty early on Sunday. And so yeah, back to crochet. I was following, um, first I had tried to do, I followed Pam's video of how to do a circle. And not knowing how to crochet, I still was able to follow her video. I, w I still didn't do it right, but she goes at such a good pace for me. I ended up, mine looked more like a spiral than a circle. I, I mean, I messed up somewhere, but I figured maybe don't start with the circle, start with the basics. And so um, many of you have probably heard of that YouTube channel, The Crochet Crowd, and there's a guy named Mikey and I follow him on Facebook too but uh, there's a whole series like 24 videos where he starts from how to hold your yarn how to sit you know comfortable places how to gauge crochet hooks just everything and it's just very good and he moves at a good pace like what I need and so I did the videos for how to hold the yarn how to hold a crochet hook um, how to do a chain stitch, which I already knew how to do, but I still sat and did a really super long chain just so I could get really comfortable in a comfortable position and everything. And then I learned how to do the single crochet stitch. And so what he has is, he said just to do, you know, he gave you like homework. He did a few, and I'm, here's my 
my little swatch so far. As you can tell, I, pra I practiced for a good long time. But, um, so this, this was the single crochet stitch. And I think he got maybe five rows in, and then he said, your homework is to, you know, practice it until you're comfortable with it. So I just kept practice, practice, practice. And I'm using that cotton yarn. And the reason I use the cotton yarn is because that's what he was using in his example. And really the cotton yarn is kind of cool too because it doesn't like, it's not as squishy and thready so you can see where to put the crochet hook better because I, at least for me the first, when you do your chain and then you're trying to make that second row and figure out where to stick the needle. It was frustrating and at first I was like, I'm, not, I'm stupid, I'm never going to get this. You know, it's just like when I was a kid and my grandma tried to show me, I'm just never going to get this. And then finally I got it and then of course after the first, you do the first row, then you can actually see where you have to put the crochet hook. And I didn't have a problem and so I just kept going and going and going. And he said, he suggests keep this, you know, just keep your sample and then the next lesson is going to be how to do the double crochet. And so I just, you know, pulled my thread up and I'm just holding on to it till I'm ready to do that. But, and I know this is going to take me a long time, but I want to get really, really comfortable with it. And so I decided to make a scarf single crochet, which I know is going to take a long time, but then I can get really comfortable with positioning and the crochet hooks and the first thing I noticed was I just had the re you know regular crochet hooks and I needed something with a little bit more of a handle so I'll show you I went to Joann's and bought some more hooks but but before that I have I'm gonna make I'm making a scarf see I'm just doing and this is gonna take me forever but you know I'm gonna get really comfortable with how to my tension and, and all that stuff and so, you know, there's the, what I've done so far. And ooh, my crochet hook's coming out. I think I might grab a stitch marker or something just to hold that hook. But that's, this one, the yarn said to use an H. So I'm using an H hook. But I went and bought the kind that have like the bamboo handles. And they had them that had even bigger handles than this, but they were really expensive. And these were only like $1.99 at Joann's, so I figured I would try them out. But the, And the other ones were like $10. So, but this is a self-striping yarn, and I think it's going to make a really super pretty scarf. And I think I'm doing pretty good. My stitches look pretty even, and I think I'm doing good. But I was going to show you the kind of yarn that is. It is um, Bernat Mosaic. And so I think it's going to make a really pretty scarf. Like I said, it's going to take a while doing single crochet, but I think by the end of that I should know how to hold a crochet hook and all that. So, but anyway, yesterday, you know, I had my birthday money from my mother in law. I still haven't spent it all. I've been trying to you know, buy things that I want, but not buy stuff that, you know, like go buy another shirt or something, because I don't need any clothes, I don't need any more makeup, I don't need any more jewelry, you know, stuff like that. So I bought, you may have seen, hold on a second, I'll get the box real quick. Okay. I bought, I had, well, my mind will not work. I bought, um, I have an Otlite. I don't know if you've heard of those before, but you probably have if you do crafting. But I don't want to shine this in your face too much. But they're like LED lights. It They work really good. This is like a little clip light. And I literally have pinned it to my shirt before when I'm loom knitting and stuff so I can see. Well, I was, and I really liked this, and I think it was like 10 bucks. It's, they're normally 20, but they put them on sale at Joann's for 50% off all the time. And I really liked this light, and I've never had to replace the batteries, and I've had it, and I use it quite a bit, and I've had it for a long time. But anyway, I wanted to get like a bigger lamp, and they sell them like floor lamps even, but I didn't want to get the floor lamp because 
they're just really expensive. And so I got one like this. It's like a desk lamp. And it, see how it folds down flat? And so then it doesn't look like ugly sitting, I have it sitting on my end table. And it looks nice and sleek. And it's really good and adjustable. You can move the shade and the arm and everything. So I had myself, so I went up there to see if these were on sale. And they're, well, I don't think they put the price on. But they're normally $50, so it was on sale for $25. And, you know, so I have my Christmas money left, so I bought this. And then I also bought several of the crochet hooks with the bamboo handles. Um, you know, different. Because I have yarn that would take an 8mm or a 9mm, so I got just several sizes of, you know, your common sizes and then a couple of those bigger ones. I didn't get any of those giant ones. The biggest one I got was, was the 9mm. But like if I were to crochet using this Softy Chunky, that's what it would use. So I bought the crochet hooks and I bought the lamp and then I bought another pair of owl socks. So I had this, uh, these over in their little Valentine section. So, and I still have some Christmas money left because since these were on sale for half off. Oh, and then I had a coupon for $5 off of a $35 purchase. So I got into Joann's. And so this was really nice because I set it up yesterday and then I was sitting on the love seat and I had like a pillow on my lap and a pillow next to my arm and then I was just sitting there crocheting. I can't believe I was crocheting. I'm just so excited about that. Making my little scarf. But so I'm I'm really excited about that. But yeah, I've got now I've got a project. I have three projects on looms, one project on the Addy King size, and one on the crochet hook. So I'm I'm just beyond excited that I've at least mastered the single crochet stitch because that means I'm gonna be able to do this. And my, my horizons have broadened and I'm just really excited. And what else was I going to show you? Was I going to show you anything else? I don't remember. You know, I hope this doesn't affect me at work because I still am going through a little bit of that, like, scatterbrain feeling, which from what I understand is the blood pressure medicine. I mean, I haven't been on it for that long, so I'm still getting adjusted to it. I've always been kind of a scatterbrain, but you know, where you know what you want to say, it's in your head. You're smart and you know it, but you can't get it to come out of your mouth kind of thing. That's happened to a lot lately. But I guess the last thing is, because I, I thought for sure I had something else, but maybe not, um, is right after the the whole heart issue you know the first time back in 2009 when I had the major heart attack I went through a brief period of depression and this time the same kind of thing happened you know you go through the why me's and you know I was going through a poor me phase for really pretty quick pretty not very long because already I'm coming out of it I don't feel depressed anymore I'm getting excited about things I mean I'm I'm just I'm kinda like I said suck it up buttercup you know I just sucked it up and started walking again and you know I'm just doing what I've always been doing because take my medicine eat healthy do my walking um, try to reduce the stress and just you know if it happens again it's gonna happen again I really I know now I can't really prevent it but I can do everything I can to make my heart strong and that's a big thing you know if your heart is strong it can deal with I guess the trauma of having your cardiac artery, you know, seize up again. So we shall see. Tuesday I go to the cardiologist. Oh, I got my cholesterol results back. I don't know if I told you it was 121, you know. Actually on the scale, what Quest Diagnostics said was it's too low. But, um, so, but when I asked my doctor about it when I went last Tuesday, he said that it's not that much too low. Just keep eating like I've been eating almonds which are really good for the for the good cholesterol and so and I try to eat the, like those little those there's like these little Jif makes these little pots of peanut butter and so a lot of times with breakfast I'll have one of those and 
I almost always have little single serve packings of all so you know what a problem to have you know low cholesterol um, so so yeah I feel like I'm that that depression is gone um, I'm not feeling like why me anymore you know there's people that have it way way worse off that have dealt with trials and tribulations way worse than I have I'm thankful for everything I have and I'm especially thankful for all of you because like I said before I have gotten so much support and just kind words and so the, you are such nice people I, I just feel com totally and completely blessed I'm just so so thankful and I don't know I just, it just it just warms my heart swells my heart makes that I know had had a huge help with the whole depression depression feelings because a lot of people sent me messages you know telling me about things they've gone through way worse than me or just words of encouragement and just everybody's just been so great and so nice and everything and you know even on Instagram somebody I had said I, I really liked Groot and they sent me or they tagged me in a little video of the little baby dancing Groot that's at the end of Guardians of the Galaxy I keep on going back through my little newsfeed part on um, Instagram and watching that because that that little thing is so cute and just cheers me up and she's she was like I hope this brought a smile to your face and definitely brought a smile to my face he's just the cutest little thing and then you know just all the people that have that were so nice and congratulating me when I hit my 10,000 steps and I better quit playing the music though because I don't I don't want to uh, I know they have that cup stop playing the music I'm gonna turn the music off because I don't want to um, I don't want to get in trouble with YouTube and I don't know if that's a copyrighted one but see the little little fella dancing he dances and then this is like at the end of the movie and they'll show He's like, then he freezes. <laughs> like, no, it wasn't me. But that's just really cute. Um, Tammy plans. But that just was really, she's who put the video out there. But I just see, just things like that were really nice. And just all the nice little comments that I get on Instagram even. And on my YouTube videos for people that don't do Instagram. I love Instagram. I learned about it through Pam, you know, and then several of us are on there now. It's so, I hate Twitter. I tried Twitter. There's just too, it's too busy. It's just too busy and it's kind of confusing and st I don't know. I still have Twitter on my phone. I don't get on it every day, but I just really don't like it. I do still like Facebook. I know a lot of people don't like Facebook. I still really enjoy Facebook. You know, like I said, a, a lot of my family's on there. So that's I, my Facebook. I, I'm have more like my own people I personally know on there because that's my main way to stay in contact with my family oh and the, okay now this really is the last thing and my video did that again there's a cutoff on here where it it stops and starts a new clip but um I'm gonna go visit my mom she said she's about almost five hours away and she was gonna come visit me and then the car broke down and then she was going to visit me again and the car broke down and so I said you know what I'll just come up there we don't have to normally my whole family you know my husband and I and our two boys and our dog go we all go you know we get a hotel and and you know just make a big production out of it well we don't need to do that I'm just gonna go by myself I'll sleep on the couch one of my all-time favorite things in the world my mom may have made when I was a kid that I love is her chicken chicken and dumplings oh my god love 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 so she's gonna make me chicken and dumplings which I know is not heart healthy but if I don't eat that all the time you know I'm not gonna I'm eating them so and I had bought her a set of looms and some books and stuff my mom crocheted for years my mom's I mean she made everything all our furniture used to have afghans on it she made I mean 
she used to make gifts for my teachers, just tons of stuff that she crocheted. Well, my mom got a carpal tunnel. She got it really, really bad. She couldn't get the surgery for a long time. It ended up being put, not, put off so long that once she finally did have the surgery, she doesn't have the carpal tunnel pain anymore, but she also doesn't have like feeling in her fingertips. And, you know, she doesn't have the sensation that she used to have. And so she can't really hold a crochet hook that great. And so she can't do that. But looming, she could do, you know, because your loom does a lot of the work for you when it comes to holding your yarn and everything. And so I had bought her a set of looms and she's having a hard time, you know, figuring out how to do them. So I'm going to take my looms down there and we're going to sit and I'm going to teach her how to loom. And she was going to teach me how to crochet a circle, but I think by the time I go down there, I might know how to do one. I don't know yet, but I'm going down there on February 6th after work. And I'm just going to stay the weekend, come, you know, go on Friday, come back Sunday. And uh, so I'm looking forward to seeing my mom and dad. And, you know, it's just, they just, and then I'll just sleep on the couch. And so, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And she, teaching her something. She tried to teach me how to crochet when I was a kid, her and my grandma both. But they just lost patience with me because I was impatient. I'm a grown-up now, you know, so even though I still, like I said, I was losing patience with trying to get that first row of crochet, I was like, I'm never gonna get this, but I got it, so. So yeah, I think that was everything I wanted to share. Plus, I don't wanna talk your head off, or talk my head off. So, oh, and look, I think I might've showed you guys this before, my cup. That's the other thing I've been making sure to, I've been pretty good about drinking water, but I've been trying to do it even more, you know, drink even more water, just trying to be all healthy, so yeah. So that's it. So there's my update and thanks again. You guys are just the most awesome people in the world. I'm glad that I got to meet you through YouTube and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.